So in the midst of the gala fun, people have been asking me, Millie, what are the top crypto gaming projects outside of gala? It's your boy Crypto Millie, I'm back with another one. Well, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Nakamoto Games. Yes, family, the most requested gaming project in the comments today, full review. You probably know Nakamoto Games from this game. Or maybe this game. We're gonna be talking all about it. So if you like videos like this, make sure that you like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what your favorite crypto gaming project is. Small cap, micro cap, blue chip. Let me know in the comments. Engage with the video. Let's get into this Nakamoto Games review. A few moments later. Of course, the first thing that stands out to me, in my opinion, for Nakamoto Games is the circulating supply family. The circulating supply is 40% of the max supply, which is about 180 million tokens. If you want to compare some of the all-time highs to some of the projects that was able to uh, reach five to ten dollars most of them are in that range of 150 million tokens to 200 million tokens so the first thing that kind of like just jumped out to me was the tokenomics because for gaming projects and the way that they work man g gaming it, it just takes so much development man it, it takes a lot of marketing but it does take a lot of development so many cases in so many cases in cryptocurrency you'll see gaming projects that you know drop these games in beta but we never see the release of the game family so for nakamoto games to have this type of tokenomics being a gaming project really really stood out to me the market cap is only 32 million and we know gala games market cap is around 300 million so literally a 10x <laughs> away from a uh, uh, gala games market cap so i really 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 um like the fact that Nakamoto Games has one of the smaller market caps for the gaming projects, but it's still popular. It is still popular. You can see here for the year family, it is up 700% on the year. So this project has been going crazy even throughout the bear market. Now I've been real, real tough on Gala Games. I mean, excuse me, on Nakamoto Games and I'll let you guys know why. But again, you can't you know, take away from the fact that this project is up a whopping 700% on the year. So salute to the people that got into Nakamoto Games around five, six cent. You guys are truly winning. It seems like a lot of interaction here with the Nakamoto Games. So I like it. So the biggest thing uh, uh, that the harp that I had with Nakamoto Games is that I didn't see a lot of people streaming, streaming the games and, and, and didn't really see a lot of games that I felt were, uh, you know, met the needs of desktop. And then I started doing more research on Nakamoto Games and, and I figured out like it, it, it's bigger than desktop. It's big. They're specifically targeting a niche crowd with mini games. Now, this puts it all into, I couldn't have said it better. This is from Low Cat Bull. Let's give him his credit. It says Nakamoto Games focus lies on mini games. They don't want to have too many AAA games because mini games are preferable in crypto for their accessibility, lower development costs, play to earn opportunities, diverse gameplay, lower risk, community engagement, innovation, and scalability compared to AAA, AAA games, which is true. It's probably why family we see that um, Nakamoto is able to have such favorable tokenomics because they don't really have to put that much liquidity out there to invest into something per se a triple a game so good good way to break that down for the people that really really was concerned about the games that they actually put out there well it's a core psychology behind the, the releases of these 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 mobile games or these mini games family and uh, having a variety of mini games can attract wider audiences and contribute to vibrant crypto gaming systems i also wanted to break down some of the things that i've seen on the contract here i would love to see um um, Nakamoto games have more than one contract. I think that's very, very important in cryptocurrency. Right now, they're just on the Polygon uh, uh, chain here, but they are ERC20 tokens. So hopefully we can get some type of bridge to Binance BNB because it's a certain type of people that actually invest on BNB. Believe it or not, 
Not everybody wants to pay, pay Ethereum gas fees. So I love to see uh, cryptocurrency projects with multiple chains here, um, which means more liquidity. And you'll see what I mean a little bit later in the video, because that was one of the uh, uh, red flags I also seen from Nakamoto is is, is the liquidity. But um, the holders here, 8,000 holders, the uh, total uh, fully diluted market cap is 81 million. So a little bit of dilution there. Um, if you did the math, that's about $9,000. $151 pure holder. So not too bad, not too bad on the holder count. I'm taking a look at some of the uh, large wallets. I would have to do a little bit more research to see who actually owns these wallets and what they actually own. But you can see here some of uh, the uh, the top you know, wallets hold a large uh, portion of Nakamoto games. So I would like to see some of those wallets become just a little bit more smaller for my concerns. But again, um, this project is up 700% on a year. So, you know, what does Millie know? All right. So not too bad on the tokenomics, a lot better tokenomics than we see from um, from most games. So I, I will say that family. As far as the development, this was one of the things that actually uh, drew me to Nakamoto Games, the fact that they constantly got people working on the project and development, okay? So Nakamoto Games is at the forefront of Web3 Gaming Revolution with 142 dedicated individuals and a relentless 24-7, 365 work ethic. We're defining the industry. Um, the Nakamoto app, has 35 devs behind it okay so so put to put that into perspective we want to see every portion of the nakamoto ecosystem having a substantial amount of devs you can see that the nakaverse has 25 devs okay it says with 30 developers at the whole helm we're ramping up game releases aiming to host over 1000 games in the long run and with gaming projects and even any altcoin in cryptocurrency market you can't have a winning for winning formula without development you need developers i, I use this kind of like example all the time who wants to go to a amusement park with rides but you see nobody riding the rides because there's no development so you want to have some type of uh consistent development inside your cryptocurrency project salute to the naka team for the consistency um for the development i love to see the consistency um as far as the development department department that tells me that the project is planning on being around for uh, the long term family so one of the things that also uh caught my attention here with Nakamoto's games is that they announced the launch of Naka API enabling easy game integration of their games onto their platform. So if you have a website, you have a business, you can now integrate Nakamoto's ecosystem to bring more attention to your website or your business. Huge, right? The new API represents an all-in-one solution for developers, companies, and website owners that makes it easy for them to seamlessly integrate games from the play-to-earn ecosystem onto the platforms. If you ever wanted to integrate a blockchain game onto your platform or website, now you'll be able to do this just that. I even put a example together for you guys. So let's imagine a DeFi lending platform called DeFi Loan, right? <laughs> DeFi Loan offers the ability to borrow and lend cryptocurrency or something like Tectonic, all right? Uh, Tonic wants to enhance user engagement and attract more users to its platform. To achieve this, they can now integrate blockchain games using Nakamoto Games, Naka API. And to put that into perspective the use case demonstrates how nakamoto games naka api can help DeFi projects like tonic for example enhance user engagement broader use base and create synergies between the DeFi and the gaming ecosystem users benefit from earning naka so users users benefit from from the play to earn module right users benefit from additional earning opportunities through gaming while the platform aka tonic or DeFi loan games increase activity and participation so man this is huge because just imagine all these 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 DeFi protocols or DeFi projects that want more social engagement what better audience to target than the gaming audience well now you can implement naka api and just use their ecosystem and use their games and hey even award some of your clients right an opportunity to earn naka through the play to earn module Again, uh, th this <laughs> this is crazy because uh, it also gives Naka the utility, right? The use case, the utility of that token being used and utilized. So it helps both protocols, both both projects, win-win um, situation 
for everybody. So uh, I'm bullish on Naka. Um, I'm still, you know, doing research on it. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna say I'm bullish. That's the wrong word to use. Uh, I'm I'm coming around on Naka. Okay, I'm coming around on Naka. I still have my concerns, which of course is the liquidity. Now this is just again just one contract. I believe they have multiple contracts. I would have to add up the liquidity, but even here, 14 million, right? 14 million market cap. 74,000 in liquidity. That's not really a good ratio to market cap as far as liquidity. So I would want to see more liquidity uh, for, for Naka. That is pretty much the only harp and concern that I have. Um, you can see that it's been riding the 200 day moving average like a champ, riding it like a champ. Upon the Gala news, Naka got bullish, is receiving bullish momentum here on the MACD, and the stock RSI is trending to the upside. So a lot of momentum here. With Naka, we'll just have to see if the momentum continues as uh, we start to see more uh, momentum from Bitcoin as the DXY curls down and some of the macro environment stuff falls down a little bit. So y'all let me know what y'all think about Naka. Uh, be sure to leave a comment, all right? Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think about Naka and we'll continue to research it. Let me know if you want more updates on Naka. I love to know you guys' opinions in the comments. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.